Are you tired of this happening while taming a Diplocalus? My name's Techworsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a Diplocalus, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tame Diplocalus. First off, let's prepare. The foods you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Simple kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, raw prime fish meat, cooked lamb chop, cooked prime meat. I'd recommend using kibble or raw prime meat. It wouldn't hurt to have some cooked prime meat just in case. You'll need around 60 narcotics per hour during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 50 can take between 45 minutes to 2.5 hours. A level 100 can take between 1 and 4 hours. A level 150 between 1.5 and 5.5 and and hours. These times are the difference between the kibble and raw meat. I also have the times for raw and cooked prime meat on screen now. You'll also want a more abundant food source for the Diplocalus to consume when it wakes up. The recipe for simple kibble is one small egg, five mijo berries, two rockerot, one cooked fish meat, five fiber, and one water. Condition the area around the diplocalus. Kill off any carnivore that could interfere with your taming. You'll need to keep an eye on the one you want to tame while you do this, and if you have tribe mates to help you, they can be defending the area while you start taming. Diplocalus are skittish and will run away at the mere sight of you. You can use this to your advantage to drive it towards an area that will make it easier to tame it. While you're hurting it, make sure you're pegging it with trank arrows. You may find it helpful, if your server settings allow for it, to pick up the Diplocalus with a flyer and bring it back to a pre-built taming pin. This taming pin must not have any openings for the Diplocalus to escape through. It can fit through either door or window frames. Once it's in an area you deem safe, bolo it and continue to peg it with trank arrows until you knock it unconscious. Put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory and maintain its topor so it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. While the Diplocalus has no saddle, you are able to ride it only while you're in the water. When you're mounted on a Diplocalus, it shares its oxygen supply with you. You can also interact with it while in the water to take oxygen from it. The primary attack is a simple bite. Diplocalus appear to deal more damage to trilobites and thus can kill them more quickly and harvest their bodies better. Their eggs cannot be used in any kibble recipe. Diplocalus must be in the water in order to mate. When hatching a fertilized Diplocalus egg, it must be left in the water until it is hatched, and babies cannot survive outside of the water until they reach adulthood. The Diplocalus also has an aberrant form on the Aberration map. That's all I've got for the day. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.